Alrighty, YouTubers. Well, we got PowerDirector 15 Ultimate. And I haven't seen any tutorials on how to do the vertigo or dolly cam effect. So I did a tutorial here just using two keyframes. Um, you can smooth it out the best you want, but this is just a quick down and dirty how you do it. And you can figure it out the rest, but you need the basics here. Alright, let me get it started. Oh, this one is flying backwards. You just gotta remember if you're flying backwards, you wanna zoom in so you get the vertigo effect. And if you're going forward, you wanna zoom out, which I'll do a flying forward one here in a second. But go ahead and start Power Director and get your video clip up in your media library. And then here we go. All right, once you got it in there, drag it down to your timeline, click on it, go to designer, pip designer, and once that loads up, you'll want to go set a keyframe, but you'll notice right there, that's your first one for the backwards. Leave that at default, make sure maintain aspect ratio is checked, add a keystroke there, that's your ending and notice the value is different it's a higher number that's what you want to have then when you click play and it loads up and play again I don't know why it did that and you can see background now you can adjust that to however high you want it value wise whatever then once you're satisfied with what you want then just click OK okay for the flying forward it's done the exact same way except your main value now is going to be higher and I'll show you that here in a second also your video clip like I said this is just a quick down and dirty uh, we had our drones out with some friends I decided to get a picture of a, this old house with the sun setting flying directly towards it and well the sun washed out a lot of the detail so the better detail you got the better this works but for just a getting the gist of how to do it this video clip is good enough as I said you can always add other keystrokes or keyframes in it if you want to smooth it out even more but this is just a quick way just showing you the basics so same as before get your clip you want in and your media library up there and you'll want to drag it down to your timeline click on it go to designer pip designer and once that loads up, go up there to now. This main value is going to be higher. This is your zooming out. Because if you're going forward, you want to zoom out. If you're going backwards, you want to zoom in. Set your first keyframe to 3.00 whatever. Add another keyframe. And that one's going to be your default of 1.00 or 1.001 in my case here. But make sure maintain aspect ratio is locked or checked that way it doesn't change and then once you're got your markers go ahead and click play and there you go and you can adjust however much you want just by playing with the values so that's pretty much it and then once you're happy with what you're doing click OK and it'll save your projects